Well, hi folks. A few people have asked me if they could, if I could just uh, show them about something about my wheel and what sort of wheel it is. Well, there you go. That's my wheel. And to be honest, I haven't got a clue what make it is. It's absolutely ancient. It's just an old commercial wheel. Really, really ancient thing. It's absolutely rock solid. Solid metal. It must weigh about half a ton. And it is pretty limited in its capabilities, to be honest. I'll just show you, I'll turn it on and as you can see it's that old it needs a bit of a push start so it's not in the best of nick but like I say I've just got used to it and the thing is you get used to the the, the bit that you get used to in part of a wheel is this bit I find the sort of gallery around it because you get used to where your arms are resting on the uh, edge of the wheel so anyway I'll just show you how you change speed on it none of these fancy little tow control is like extra fine sensitivity it's a big a big ratchet thing and you just push it down to whatever speed and you lock it into the teeth and then you can put your foot on there to rest and that's as slow as my wheel goes so you get these wheels that go really really slowly so you can throw absolutely enormous pots but that's as slow as mine gets so Again, it's pretty limited, so I have a job making anything big. So, and as for it's a bit messy actually today. I've just been turning all my pots. So, as for where the water goes, mine just dribbles out of the corner into a pipe and into buckets. None of this fancy suction thing like some of these fancy wheels have these days. So, anyway, while we're at it, there's a few people have asked me about my about the bats I use. So, anyway, they're the bats I use. And what they are, they're made out of a sort of hard, rigid, vinyl, sort of epoxy type thing. You could use Perspex or some people use plywood, but like marine plywood, waterproof ply, but that can get a bit splintery. But if you can get anything that's like solid, quite thin and rigid, like that's rigid, and waterproof, and that's what you do. Anyway, if you see there's a hole at 12 o'clock, and there's a hole in the middle but it's covered in clay and what you do is if you look at the wheel there's a little pin there and a pin in the centre and what I do I put some water on first for a bit of suction but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get dirty again and you just line the hole up with the peg in the middle and the suction of the water and that keeps your pot on keeps your bat on sorry so then you throw your pot and then the next day you can just put your pot back on and turn it, trim it, whatever you want so it saves you having to cut off direct from the wheel head and risk sort of squashing your pot when it's really soft so that's the bats I use and that's about it really it's my ancient decrepit wheel, it just goes to show you can, you don't need the the most up to date stuff in the world to throw some pots so it's just a matter of getting used to any wheel you can and finding the one that's best for you and to be honest I'm quite happy with this so that's it.